Hey crafters, it's me, Jen Evers with Quality Crafts. I sure hope you got the notification <laughs> ran late on setting that part of it up, which is totally hilarious because I, I just, it's like automatic, automatic. Anyway, I'm introducing you tonight as we do our Friday, our Friday, what the heck, Friday free play um, about stencils is the Stencil Revolution, which is a new company. It's really cool. I asked for them to send me some of the six by sixes because I think that's, you know, for cards and stuff. So like, this is a five by six. They're so cool, you guys. This one's the mermaid. I've been playing around with these, it's so fun. Here's a waves one, that's three by six. And then these are the six by six. So we've got this one called Scale Cookie. This one called Sunbeam, which is totally, this is like trending right now. Like everybody wants to be doing the Sunbeam, so cool. And then this one's called Pattern Cookie. So it's got this really intricate little pattern here. And it comes in these really hard um, envelopes that they ship them in, which is really cool. Look at that, Stencil Revolution. And then I think it's on this side, no. Um, on their website, it's like Stencil Revolution and it looks like a stencil, it's awesome. Anyway, I really like these stencils, so I'm gonna totally welcome and encourage you guys to purchase them. Um, I will be doing an affiliate as soon as I get a link, I'll let you know. Let me get back. Where are we? How come I can't see the whole chat? Let me let me fix this quick. That's crazy. Like things are not all where they should be. I guess that's as good as it gets. How crazy. So this is my new series. We've gone from just a quick series on Valentine's stuff, and now we're gonna jump right into stencils. Because stencils are awesome. So we're gonna play around with things tonight. I'm not gonna get everything that I'm showing you here. This is just a whole bunch of stuff that I've been playing around with because there's a gazillion different things that you can do with stencils. This one really curled up because I sprayed the crap out of it with this really dark red um, spray. And I don't think we're gonna just sprays tonight. I'm gonna try to focus on something each week and this one might go on for a little while because there's just so much, so much fun. Um, okay, so let me just take a real quick break here to say hello to everybody. Hey, Susan. Thanks for being here. Denise and Vicki R., Debbie Evans, Sherry Covell, Monica Haverson. Kelly, Kelly Lisa, I haven't seen you here in a long, long, long time. Welcome back. Vicki R., Debbie Evans, Tina Rays, Sherry Fremantle. Hello. Are some of you guys new? If you're new, give me some little hearts or some little emojis or something so I can pick you out. Kathy, welcome back. Donna Burroughs. Who else? People are coming in. Let me move this over here. We've got 19 so far. We usually have quite a few more than that. So people will be trickling in as they get their um, evening stuff done and all that. Let me flip through some of these fun things that I've been working on. Now some of them are gonna be, um, I'll try to focus mostly on using the Stencil Revolution so you can get an idea of all the fun and cool things they have. But check them out at Stencil, I think it's stencilrevolution.com. Yes, stencilrevolution.com. I should know that, but um, I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking there was gonna be one more series in in doing Valentine stuff and there wasn't, I only did two. I don't know why I was thinking there was three, but um, but I've been dying to jump into the stencils because you know, I play with all this stuff ahead of time, you guys probably don't even think about that. And then I get so excited about stuff that, yeah. Anyways, I really, really like how this turned out. So I'm gonna try to do one of those for you today. So much fun. We'll try to stick to inks today because there's a lot of different things that are gonna be developing over time and you'll get to see some of the other things. This was paint. Um, I think we can get the same look with inks. This was inks. Oh, were you here for New Year's, Kelly? I'm sorry. That's still a couple months, isn't it? really well up there we go that one embossed hard to tell this one look at that that's the sunbeam one oh, so cool we are gonna do that one today 
And then some of these other ones are made with jelly plate, which I'm sure you've seen a bajillion things with jelly plate, but we'll be doing some stencils and jelly plate. Probably not today. We'll do a separate one on that because that, you could go jelly plate all day long. I'm not kidding you. This is another one that was embossed, I believe. Was this? Yeah. And it came out really, almost looks like little worms were crawling on there. It's super shimmery. It's really hard to see the detail, but in person you can see it a lot clearer. This mermaid one. Uh-oh. We have lost. We've, we froze up. Oh, hopefully it'll keep going. Okay, so here's the mermaid one. Really cool. I did a lot of different things on there. I don't know if I can recreate that exactly, but we're going to play around with that idea. These are the three ideas I'd like to hit today. Um, we end a little bit early because there is a Patreon only sale tonight for an hour from six to seven. And then tomorrow is the regular, um, all public is invited from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So join us for that tomorrow right here on this channel. If you're coming for the patron one, it's in our patron private group. Don't come back here. You won't find us. <laughs> I, just, I always want to say that because people are like, I couldn't find you. I didn't know where you were. Um, we'll be in the patron private group. So these are the three things I'd like to hit on today. We'll try to use just inks to keep the series separate so that you guys can keep following along. And let's move on because I'm sure there are some of you that are like, I really would like to see what's going on instead of you doing all the blah, 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 right? How did I end up getting, oh, you know what? I cut up, I cut up my, um, gosh darn, I didn't mean to do that. I had two pieces of paper taped together so that I would have a, a setup for taking photographs. Yeah, I accidentally cut that up. But anyways, let's start off with this one. I'm going to put down a piece of printer paper just so I don't have to keep cleaning off my mat. I'm going to put that piece on here and I want to start out with this one which is called the scale cookie. So they're like scales right and I use that one also in this one but I'm going to use this one today to do like this black and gold. Um, let's see I don't have the gold in like a Tim Holtz thing so I think I'm going to have to grab one of the gold my little gold buddies. Let me just grab him really quick. I'm hoping that that one will work out just as well. It should. I get a bunch of, you know, fun stuff in here, but I've got some of these brilliance gold. So it's galaxy gold, cosmic copper. Maybe we'll pull out a couple of these. I do sell these too. If you're looking for this one in particular, the four, like, I don't know what you'd call them, like metals, I suppose. All right. So it's a black with a metal on top. And I used paint when I did this one, but we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna see if we put this together with the inks, if it shows up as good as it did on this one. So we need a black. Black went down first. So here's our black. Ah, Dee Dee! Oh my gosh, I've missed you too, girl. I'm so glad you're here. Woo, Justine. I am just so excited to share this with you guys today, and I'm so glad it's Friday. We had off yesterday, which was so cool. Like, I like to have a day off in the middle of the week, and we just lucked out. So this is black soot. Let me go ahead and put this on here. Hello. You could tape this down. Um, stenciling is going to be really amazingly fun at the end of March when we get in the station. Um, Wendy Vecchi's Make Art station, S-T-A-Y, station, when we get those in, because practically everybody in my group has ordered one, I'm hoping that that's not one of the ones that they cancel the order on me, um, because literally I think there's like 45 of us that are going to have one, which is exciting. It's going to make stenciling like this so much easier. But let's go ahead and do the black in here first. And we don't have to do the whole darn thing to see if this works out. I almost think I might bump up to, instead of using the black, these are the oxides. I might just bump up and use the distress ones. We'll see how this works. I want it to be really, really dark. I don't want it to be like a charcoal gray. So I'm gonna start with just a little bit in the beginning like this, right? And how you get this look right here is you just toggle your stencil down, up, 
or to the side, however you want to do it, a little bit one way, like that. Might be kind of hard to see, but I think you could probably have followed that pretty easily. And then, so I'm done with the black, I'm going to take this one off. I'm going to try to do this one direct to paper since these are so small. Um, I don't need to take, uh, I don't need to have like an extra little piece here. Justine, there might be some links to these stencils so that you can get them on your own. Um, but probably not. I want to wipe this off, but then again, I don't. You can wipe it off or you can just go ahead and do what I'm doing. I'm just going right over the top of it. And if it messes up my ink, then it messes up my ink. But I'm just going to push down straight through onto all of these. Hopefully it covers the black. But if it doesn't cover it completely, that's okay. It should still give us a really cool looking look. Like I said, I used paint on the other one. So um, it turned out my, pake, my paint was a lot more opaque which means less see-through. We just wanna make sure that this covers mostly. If some of the black shows through, that's okay. We'll get a really cool, interesting looking design, right? And let's see what we get with that. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. I may have pushed too hard through the ink. Maybe it leaked out just a tiny bit. But that looks really neat. So if you guys think that you want, may want to order some of these stencils from the Stencil Revolution, they work really nicely. They're super nice. They're really, really good stencils. Excuse me. So I will have, I'm hoping that by tomorrow I have the affiliate link. I don't know if I just misplaced it or what, but I should have it tomorrow. So if you want to order from them, yeah, it's so fun. So we can do it with different colors too. So here I am, I'm just gonna take a baby wipe, wipe this off. It's gonna push that ink through to see how we're getting like another little thing here. <laughs> and then I'm gonna rub the back. Also, um, if you have on hand, here's mine, flower sack towel. That's always helpful too. I like to just dry mine with the flour sack towel because then you don't, you're don't you not going to get a bunch of really weird looking um, fuzzes and junk all over that. Flour sack towels are really awesome for that. So that is super fun. You can do that with whatever colors you want. I'm, I like that so well that I want to do one with silver. So let's do this again. Actually, you know what? I, I'm going to do it with the sunbeam too. I'm gonna do it with the sunbeam because this one I have not done. Of course, you can do this with any stencil you have, obviously. I think I would get a darker black if I wasn't using the oxide. You could even use um your Versafine, your Memento, your Stazon. Okay. Hi, Tarita. I'm going to move this maybe up. How do I want to do this? How do I want to move? If I move, just turn it slightly. Let's just turn it a little bit. There we go. I want to try silver this time. So I've got Platinum Planet and I've got Starlight Silver. I want to do the Starlight Silver, so I'll try to leave that there. Oh yeah, for sure. You could totally dry in between. I'm just too lazy to do that. <laughs> you for sure want to do that. This one is Starlight Silver, and these are really old inks you guys have had for years. Let me see what happened to this. Definitely not silver anymore. It just totally dried out. 
That one is not working anymore. I'll have to open up a new one. Let's try this one. Platinum Planet. Is this one still good? Yep. Let's do that one. I must have maybe just left that one open or something. I don't know. Yeah, it does kind of look 3D. So, like, I don't... You know, I'm probably going to go a little black on there, but that's okay. Did I mess this one up too bad? I got a little bit of black on it, but it doesn't look that bad. Going back to that comment that was made that if I wipe it off on here and continue to stamp it, it's still going to stamp out gold. So, yeah, I'm not too concerned. But if you do dry your layers in between, obviously, yeah, way better for you. Sometimes I just... You know, I'm so into doing what I'm doing, I don't want to stop. So here's what, what she was asking. If you cleaned off this layer and let this dry, right, wash this part off because there's black all over that. So let's wash it right onto the plate. Beth Hansen, hello. So I dried that off. I used another one, and because I stamped all over that, I'm just going to go ahead and fold this in half so we didn't get all that wet stuff back on. Put this back out here. So now it's dry, and I'm not tracking the black. Put it right back where it was. I'm not tracking the black into my ink, my silver ink is what they were wondering. Yeah, I was just being lazy. But now I'm going to turn it a little bit so that some of the white shows. All right, and then we're going to go over it with silver now and see what we get. It's not going to be as um, fabulous as a of a change, is what I'm thinking, because it's such a light color. Silver is such a light color. It might be hard to see. All right, let's see what we get. Ooh, look at that. So the more you tip off of that and go around it, the more black you show, you know what I mean? Like, depending on where you move your stencil to, you're going to get a whole nother look. That's really cool. Let's go ahead and wipe off our silver. So Susan is putting out some links. Now, if you really like what I do on this channel, um, every Wednesday and Friday we have uh, these lives where I do stuff with you guys. Uh, Wednesday is more of like, it's a, a card in 10 minutes where people send stuff in, scraps and I make a card for them. I have a 10 minute timer and then I send it back out to them. And then every Friday we do something that's really cool like this where we um, experiment with stuff, play around. I do tutorials, how to easy, simple to follow kind of things. Um, and if you want to keep this community going, you can donate in several different ways. Um, one way would be just keep watching the videos, right? Share them with everybody and get people to watch and like and comment so that it's boosted up in YouTube. Another way would be to use Amazon, our Amazon links. Uh, another way would be to join us on Patreon so that you get into the private Patreon group and get all the benefits that come with that. Um, and then the other way would be during the lives, there's something called Super Chat, which is like a little um, dollar sign underneath where you comment, and then you can make a one-time donation on Super Chat. So just know that if you do Super Chat, um, they do take they do take a, a percentage of that, a quite kind of a high percentage of that. Um, but I am taking the money that you guys gave me last video and buying my new little, this is, this little guy broke. This little Sizzix sidekick seat. Look, now I got pieces falling out of it. Maybe I can have somebody put it back together for me. Anyways, it's broken. I broke it. I was too rough with it. Anyhow, that's coming. I, found, I bought another one. So I want to see if we can do another, a third one on here. So I'm going to dry it a little bit. Ah, see, 45 watching. We got some more people that came in. Um, sometimes it takes a little time in different time zones and whatnot and maybe I didn't set my um my little notification early enough or something only 16 thumbs give us, give us a big thumbs up that helps too guys let's make sure that this isn't really wet before I move on it's still wet 
<laughs> Not super wet, but. Maybe I'll get it, give it one little slam with the super hot, the super heater, super soaker. Johnson, when you get when you get big, will you have a design team? Connie, that would be awesome. I used to have a design team for um, my digis, but nothing really came of it, so I took it down. I hope to have one some sometime down the road. I think that would be really fun. Cool. I'm gonna turn this one more time, and we're gonna go over it with cosmic copper. Thanks, Debbie Evans. Cosmic Copper. Let's see what we get when we go over this with Cosmic Copper. I have to give it a little bit of rub. Because this one, I don't know if it's... There we go. Squish it down, get some ink out, and then rub it down those little rays. This should be interesting. I don't know what we're going to get with this, but it might be really cool. You never know. Don't be afraid to experiment with all the stuff you have. That's what I like to do. Oh, look at that. Hey, Carolyn. Oh, girl, you're not that late. We're still live. You're cool. Jacqueline Shea, welcome. Do we have some newbies in here tonight? Sometimes I might think you're a newbie because because I don't see your name um, as many times as I do other people. So don't be offended if I think you're new, but let me know if you are. Love to celebrate newbies coming in. Thanks, Sharon Schaefer. So let's go ahead and wipe that off. All right, and then one other thing. I mean, we're not done yet, but we did this one using just inks, and you can see how the paint turned out slightly different, but I still think the ink is pretty darn cool. And then we tried this technique with the sunbeam, and that turned out really cool. Let's see if I can get this just to clear up. Look at the different strokes we got in that. That is super cool. We got the silver, the copper, and the black all playing off each other. Oh, I really like that. Okay, so that was one of the techniques that I wanted to cover today. And then I really wanted to do this one too, which this is super cool. Um, play around with the colors because even though this looks really super awesome this is not my end all be all like yeah that's really awesome i still think when i look at this if i had done a different pattern in a different way i think it would have looked a lot cooler that's how i feel about it not that it's not neat so keep experimenting let me pull this guy back in we can do this dry side and we'll try to do another one kind of like that so what I did was the first time I put red in the middle with orange and yellow, like overlapping those type of colors. So red, orange, and yellow. And you could just do red and yellow and overlap them, right? So let's, let's do that. We'll get some red for the middle and then some yellow as we go out. And the red overlapping the yellow yeah, I do still like that one too, but like I said, you can change it up, get different looks. Like some people might look at this and be like, yeah, not really my style. Other people think it's really awesome. Okay, so let's do the yellow first since, you know, that makes sense. So we don't get the red and the yellow because some of you guys don't like that. And I, instead of going red to yellow, I'm going to go yellow in the inside out to red. Be careful sometimes doing this 
when you have really thin stencils, it's probably best to like go out like this so you don't, um, you know what I mean? Like rub it out this way. Going around sometimes can, you know, get under the stencil or make the stencil move and that becomes an issue. You'll get the gist of it when you get your stencils out and just start going crazy and playing with them. It'll start to make a lot of sense. Now I went out about halfway, three quarters or so, because I'm going over the rest of it with red and hoping to blend in some of that red darker on the outside and going lighter into the inside so that I can make an orange in the middle. These ones right here, the ones that we used first are Brilliance inks. They're the metal ones. And if you're looking for those, I sell those. Um, and right now what I'm using are Distress Oxides, Fired Brick and Squeezed Lemonade. So I already put down the Squeezed, squeezed Lemonade. Now I'm gonna add some of the Fired Brick. So I'm gonna get it a lot on there. Yeah, the Teardrop ones, those are Brilliance inks. So let me make sure that I've got this square on here. Sometimes it's hard to get back, dead back. Must be because I moved it. One way or the other, that looks pretty darn good. And I'm gonna start the red, really dark red on the edges. And then just lightly move my way in and hopefully that orange will pop out. While still letting that yellow prominent in the middle. Alrighty. So there we go. We've got a little bit of overlap that turned orange. We've got some red and some yellow and that's one way. Oh yeah, you could totally tape it down. Yep. And um, I mentioned earlier for those of you guys who may have popped in also, the Wendy Vecchi station, the Make Art station is coming out in March and we did a pre-order for that. So those of you who got on that bandwagon with me, we're gonna have a really awesome way of holding our stencils down with her station, S-T-A-Y station. That's gonna be out of this world. I can't wait to get that. I am super stoked about that product. It's gonna be a game changer. So if you pre-ordered yours with my, with me, those should be coming in March, and then we won't have to worry about it. Yep, garage sale tomorrow morning here at 10 a.m. Okay, now we're trying to get one that looks similar to this. And do you see how really beautiful that is? So you could use that all on its own. But I wanna do another one that's got, you know, that those bright colors and stuff, right? Makes the eyes go weird, yeah. But it's so pretty and it's so fun. I had to throw out that last one because I got it super wet. So let's just go ahead and fold over another piece. All right. Now we're gonna try to line this up and get the white in between and completely cover up what we just did. Mm, that looks pretty darn good. Just like that. So we could put some different colors. Now we have, just have to like pick out what colors we want. Before I did, what did I do? I did blue and yellow to make green, but I think this time I'm gonna put down some purple and blue, or maybe a teal and a blue. I bumped it again. There we go. I'm thinking purple, teal, and blue, something like that. So let's do peacock feathers and seedless preserves instead of blue. Let's try these two. Peacock feathers, we'll do that one first. And 
then we're gonna add some purple. Oh, hot pink, that would have been nice. I don't know how hot pink would go with red though, but we'll we'll try. You can try different colors on your own. Cindy, I love your idea. Thanks for chiming in. And if I go over the teal with the purple, we'll get another kind of a beautiful looking blue. So you kind of want to pick out colors that when they go, you know, when they blend, that they're, this actually looks kind of hot pink, doesn't it, this purple? <laughs> but when they blend, you want them to have a nice color too. I'm going to have this all over my fingertips. Ooh, they look pretty like Easter eggs. Jacqueline Shield, are you also selling this template? How about the Distress Oxide inks? I have a lot of Distress Oxide inks that I'll be selling tomorrow. Quite a few of them. I also have three full sets of the brand new um, Oxide set that just came out. I've got three sets left of that. Um, and I do sell these. So if you want some of these Brilliance inks, these will be out tomorrow. I can sell those as well. And this, these stencils come from Stencil Revolution. And I love the stencils, so I'm going to partner with them, much like I partner with Amazon. And if you order um, using my, uh, my little code, which I'll get for you guys tomorrow, I, for some reason, I don't know why I don't have it today. I couldn't find it. Um, I'll get it for you tomorrow, and that way you'll give a little commission to Quality Crafts to keep our community thriving. And I I won't just pop out and be like, you'll buy this product if I don't like it. So I've used these, and I love them. I think they have a great product. And here, here you go. Here's our second one done. And I love this one way more. <laughs> here's the difference. Actually, I love them together now. Oh my gosh, they're both cool. What a neat thing though. This is the Sunbeam one. You're welcome, Jacqueline. Thanks for the question. So let me go ahead and get some of this just wiped off of here. When you have stencils, um, ink inking is not as big of a deal. Um, but if you're using other things with your stencils, you're going to want to clean them right away. You know, don't don't wait around to let them sit and have everything sticking to them. Inks, like I said, aren't as aren't as big of a deal. But when we get into the series and we start doing things like uh, with paint and the um, jelly plate things like that, you're gonna want to just keep that in mind because that could be a huge issue. And I love my little flower sack towels. So we went over, we, we did this technique without the paint. We did it with the ink and it turned out really cool with that one. That one is the one called Scale Cookie. So you can get that one from um, Stencil Revolution. And then the next one we tried was using this one we call the Sunbeam. And of course that turned out really cool. And then we did the regular Sunbeam with just a bunch of different colors. And we get those. They are stupendous. So pretty. Oh, and this is the stuff after you cleaned it off too. So Dee Dee was saying she likes that part too. So you could, you know, you could save these and dry them out and use that on a card too, for sure. Absolutely. This was another one that I did where I used a little bit more of like a masking technique and that kind of stuff. But we're going to get a little bit more deeply into that kind of a thing. But for right now... Let's flip this one over. Let's do a little bit of these waves. And one of the cool things about the oxides is that you can put these waves on here. And I did a blue with like a lighter color over the top. And I want to show you that you can put a lighter color of oxide over a darker color. 
okay? So let's do, let's see, I must have done something really deep, like faded jeans. So let's go ahead and do faded jeans. This is one of those ones where these are really skinny, so you might want to just go with the flow when you go over the top of those. Be careful. And yes, you can tape them down, but I'm not going to bother to do that today. And if you're worried about getting the dark runoff into your lighter ink, then after you get that down, go ahead and wash that part off. Let me grab another wet wipe. Wet wipes are your friend. Oh, also, um, yeah, and look, there we had a wave on here too. Pretty cool. Uh, I also used the Lawn Fawn chamois. But I think I have that tucked in the closet right now. I do like the chamois, but every time I sometimes just forget to like get it out and make sure it's wet before I start. Yeah, psychedelic. So here we're gonna go over the top. This is lined up. And for that, all I did was just inch this down a little bit. So that some of the blues on the top. And we're gonna go over that with a really light color. And I'm pretty sure I used pumice stone for that, so that's what I'm going to look for. Pumice stone is a much lighter color, and most of the time with a regular ink, you're not going to want to put a lighter color over the top of a darker color, yeah? But this, these are made so that a lighter color can be put on top of a darker color, so we're going to go ahead and put pumice stone over the top of this blue, so you can see what happens, what it looks like. And the big reveal, check it out. That light color went over the top of that dark color. And it's not completely opaque, like you can still see the blue through, but how cool is that? That's so cool. Oh my gosh, I totally love it. I did that over the top of her with that dark background and you could still see that popping. So cool. Can you imagine a lot of different things you could do with that now? All right. So even though you can't really see it, I'm still going to wipe off that gray. I don't want to leave that on there in case I don't mess up something else, right? Later on, I grab it and I go to put ink on it and white comes out and I'm like, what's going on? Okay, so we used the scale cookie, the waves, and the sunbeam today. Yeah, like a shadow. It's so neat. In a couple of my next coming up stencil series, we'll be using the mermaid. So you can see that you can do silhouettes with that. You can mask off that and do the background, that kind of thing. That's how I got this done. So we'll get into some more um, multi-step kind of faceted thing. Yeah, really cool. And then we'll use the pattern cookie too. This pattern cookie, it's so tiny that we might, um, I think you probably get best use out of using maybe um, a wetter medium like a paint or something and then dab it in there but not too much because you use too much of course it's going to ooze underneath your stencil and everything's going to look like it's all just kind of mushing together so you don't want that look
Sherry Larson, just remember spell check doesn't mean it's right. Kind of reminds me of when you got too much laughing gas at the dentist. Laughing gas actually work for any of you guys at the dentist? I'm curious to know because I tried it and it didn't do diddly squat toe for me. Yeah, just sound, just spell it like it sounds. I'll figure it out. <laughs> so here, this is a whole spray of different ones that you can get. Yes, Connie, heading into mixed media, that would be fun. I think that's a really great idea. So we'll be um, heading into this. This is kind of a mixed media. We could add some stuff. Um, and then, of course, the sunbeams because that's just totally fun to play with. And then any of the double... The double ones where you have the black underneath and obviously you don't have to use black and um, metallic or anything you can use two tone two toned colors as well doesn't matter right hey Marlene Flint Christine so some people have never had it some people say yes it does nope not for me they had to turn it on high Yeah, I do. I don't like the dentist because nothing really. Um, the last time I went in, remember, if you guys have been following me for a while, <laughs> some of you guys will remember when I was missing my front tooth. Um, that was hilarious. If you want to go back and watch some of my older videos, I really, I, it was funny. Um, I, the last time I had to go in and get that done because I got, um, what do you call them? Implants instead of I just did one implant I think and the other one's still my old my regular tooth and then of course they put the fake teeth over the top but anyway I went in, I literally had I paid out out of my own pocket for them to knock me out to get the twilight where you just fall asleep and you remember nothing because I just couldn't handle anymore but that's neither here nor there just going off on this whole tangent um be looking for here's another inking that we didn't get to today uh, we'll be doing some embossing. We'll be using the, um, this one was done on the jelly plate. And I believe this is a little bit more of embossing. And then we'll be using sprays and all kinds of things like that. So if you're interested in learning more and just doing more and experimenting me, with me with stencils, stick around. This series is going to go on for just a bit. We're going to be doing some more awesome things with that. Let me put this all together. But for right now, I just want to thank everyone who showed up today. I hope you enjoyed that. Stick around for the next um, couple in this series, which are going to happen every Friday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time here. If you're new, don't forget to set your alarm for 5 p.m. on Wednesdays as well. Um, don't depend on the YouTube alarm. For some reason, it doesn't go off for everybody the same as it should. Um, ah, super. Great, Denise. Um, so if you're ever looking for something in our community, our community group in Facebook is <laughs> drama-free, commitment-free, equaling stress-free. So basically you can hang out there, get inspired, um, try the things that we have out there to inspire you and to get you creating, or don't, you know, whatever you feel like you have time for, that kind of thing. Our um, community is on Facebook. It's on YouTube here. Um, there's a private group if you go in through Patreon and you do a monthly donation to the um, crew. Um, that keeps us here and working. Um, but most of the income for Quality Crafts does come through the garage sale. So if you would spread that around, that would be great. Invite a friend to come along. They're every other Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So they're four-hour sales. Um, if you want to get a look at some of the um, things that I get in ahead of everybody else and get a chance to buy some of that stuff and sometimes for less price than everyone else, you want to join us on Patreon and join that group for sure. That's a monthly um, subscription. So that would get you into the private group for different things that we don't do in the community group. And it's a lot of fun. Really great ladies. You would totally love it. So I'm inviting you to that. And in that, I also want to mention that anything Quality Crafts if you're confused and you're new, go to qualitycrafts.com. All the links are there for you. So there'll be little tabs up there for the blog and Patreon and the Amazon links and all that sort of thing. There'll be a button that'll take you directly to this YouTube group if you forget where this channel is. And also another button that will take you directly to our um, Facebook group so that you don't have to search for that. However, if you're brand new, you'll need to answer the three 
questions in order to get in so that um, we know that somebody didn't add you against your will and that you definitely want to be a part of that group and that way we keep you safe from spamming and scamming okay so that being said i hope to see a bunch of you guys tonight and tomorrow and i can't wait to see you guys next video